Hello, this is Ollie, the developer of DrawingBot V3. In this video, I'm going to show another new feature that was added in version 1.6.1. Um, and this feature is available in both the free and the premium version. Um, and it's a custom overlay image filter, which allows us to create actually many, many more styles and to really stylize our output in some interesting ways. Um, so it's quite a simple thing, but it actually can do so much. Um, so I've got this image here, and I'm, if I run sketch lines by default, we're going to get something like this, which is obviously a lot of lines to draw. Um, but I'm now going to add this new special image filter. So to find it, we go to borders and then custom overlay, and I'm going to add this. And then it, I get this pop up where it says select image. So I've already downloaded a few kind of black and white um, overlay effects. Um, so you can... Um, download things exactly like this or whatever the kind of thing you want and then you can overlay it onto your image so for example let's select this pattern and I'm going to hit OK and then hit start and immediately I've introduced this cool effect over the top of the image and this is it's kind of similar to post processing the image to this effect already but it's much quicker because you can do it in drawing bot and you can also quickly enable and disable it but I think it will get you thinking about all these just crazy styles that you could actually do and we can also layer multiple filters on top of each other so I could layer this dirt filter on top of it again and run it again and now you see I'm getting these dirt lines I could stack another filter on top um, maybe try this one and I'm making some kind of cool uh, abstract patterns here um, so if I delete a few of these um, uh, and that's the the other example I had there. And then when you combine this with maybe we've got some other Pathfinder modules we could try it with, maybe adaptive shapes. We want to make sure we check ignore white to use adaptive shapes. Again, there's something quite cool about this. Um, we could try adaptive stippling. Again, you've got to check ignore white to use the adaptive options with this and we can also if we go back to sketch lines let's import a different image um, let's import um, an image of a face instead let's flip it to portrait so now we're getting some really kind of interesting results with this um, let's maybe try a different let's, I'm going to add it again let's try a different filter um, let's maybe just kind of dirty the image a little bit, make it a bit rougher. This is also quite cool. We're losing the eyes a little bit with this overlay, but let's try this one. Again, that's a pretty cool style there. Um, so I hope you can see with this a little effect, like all the kind of things that you could do. Um, you could create some some pretty cool styles. Um, let's try one more. Let's try the, the glitch overlay. That's quite cool as well. Um, so yeah, you could also obviously design your own little overlays to go over images and then plot over the top of them um, and all that kind of stuff. I think I'd also mention there's also some built-in ones, but they're focused mainly on borders. So if I remove custom overlay, we can go to borders and then dirty border. I click add here. You can see there's the scroll bar where I can scroll between these different types of borders, which are already kind of baked into the software. So we could try maybe this one. You can see this is just adding this uh, kind of dirty edge to the border, which makes it look a lot more like a drawing. Um, we could try a different one. Yeah, let's try this one. Again, it's just a little bit different. The edges are a bit different. We can also stack borders on top of each other as well. So we could have maybe this one fading it in a little bit, a bit of a vignette, which prevents it going so wide. And we could change this back to this one, perhaps. Maybe let's bring in a different image. And yeah, so you end up not having, if you don't have this dirty border, you just get the, the straight line. So if I disable both of these filters, 
you get the straight line edge which looks more like a computer whereas if you just dirty the edges a little bit it looks a bit more like how someone might actually draw this if um, they were uh, uh, using a pen and paper. Um, so I hope that's useful, a uh, cool little trick, and you can try that in the free version. I've been using sketch lines for a lot of these, which is also in the free version, so you can create stuff like this and get plotting. So yeah, I hope you found that useful.